Okay, so let's change the camera of this drone. This one has a Nebula Nano camera and I'm going to be changing it to a Vista camera. So I need to have a good access to the Vista in order to remove the, the, the coaxial cable. And therefore I'm removing the screws on the back here so I can, I don't, I'm not limited by this cable. So what I have is this camera, which is a Vista camera, and it comes with the cable already connected here. So the only thing that I need to do is to remove the cable from the Vista here and connect the new one. In order to remove the coaxial cable, we just need to remove this screw here so we can lift this protection here and then remove the cable. This little thing is what is holding the coaxial cable attached to the Vista. And we have to, when we're gonna put it back, we have to make sure that this hole here is uh, inserted in the right place. You lift the cable carefully here. And then it's out. And you have the Nana camera out. You see that because the Nana camera has this rubber around, it's the same size as the Vista camera, so it shouldn't be any problem to fit it. The Vista camera is, is, is a little bit heavier than the Nano, but I'm more than willing to do that uh, exchange. Unfortunately, the Vista camera doesn't, doesn't really fit because it's um, when you try to give the angle, you don't have a screw that that gets in the right place and then you can close it which means that I'm going to have to use a nano camera nano pro sorry I replace it in this case I'm gonna have to move the whole cable from the from the nebula nano to the nebula pro and then put it back on the vista if I'm not wrong this has to go like this cables pointing in that direction making sure that it sits well in this connector okay now we're gonna insert this into the Vista I want to show you before I close this the coaxial cable sits in two little like holes. You push it in, you push it down here, and you feel that it clicks. And you have, on, on the sides, you have places where you can set the cable in. Then you put back this piece that applies a little bit of pressure. And the screw. And that should be. Now we're going to close it and test that the camera is actually working. A quick summary of what we just did. Uh, we replaced the camera of the Smart 35 from GEPRC from a Nebula Nano to a Nebula Pro. I tried in the beginning to, use, to insert or to install a Vista camera but it was too big or actually it fit but the holes didn't have a good place so we could tilt the camera and still use it. The Nebula, the Nebula Pro fits perfectly, it, it has a, a good place so you can adapt to whatever uh, angle you want uh, and in order to do that I needed to disconnect the cable from the Nebula Nano and connect it to this one only. So hopefully you see something that is interesting here for you and that you can use in the future. Thank you for watching and see you soon.